Hey guys, what's up? Sam our bird. Hey, uh, I am going to attempt to show how I tie a segeo, segeo, knot. How about sword cord? That's what I call it. Sword cord. Sword cord knot. <laughs> now you see, I tried to get a, pick a sword that had a lot of contrast so you could see what I'm doing. Um, I noticed a lot of the old photos, a lot of old samurai photos back in the, you know, when cameras were invented. And a lot of them had like something like this. They had a really kind of loose tied knot, some that they could slip and undo really quickly, not like the presentation knots you see on today, which, you know, which are on this side and this side, they're tied in here and the knots are all down here. And you know, they're kind of a pain to do undo every time you use your sword. This way is not so bad. Now usually I keep mine tighter. I just left it on here loose to show how kind of quickly it can be, you know, undone. So and there you go. Pull it out and, and you're done. Uh now this uh sword, this ain't the say that came with it. I bought this with another sword and used it. Uh, this is a Bohayu that I never really reviewed because they discontinued it shortly after I I bought it. And it's gold and silver plated fittings. It's really nice. Like T10 um, T10 steel with the Bohi. I mean it's it's nice. It cuts bamboo like a dream. Um, but anyway I put this say on here and um uh, for this video so so what you want to do what i do i find the end of it and grab that equal just keep pulling i'm only doing this because to show it in the video that you find it make sure it's equal on both sides now well wait a minute i should have took the sword out first because i'll just work on the use this now Okay, this is how your sword should be sitting facing you on a, on a sword rack. So you want the knot down here. So to work on it, I have to flip it over. So I, cause I, the way I do it, the knot is up here now. So I can, I don't, it'll make sense when I get going. Okay, let me make sure this is all even still. All right, good enough, put it over there. Now I put them, hold them together. Let's see how I wanna do this. I never had to show it on camera how I do it. You don't really crease it, but you wanna fold it. Now you got this side of it facing out, but you don't wanna crease it, it'll, it'll round up on top of the, say, uh, scabbard okay grab that from back down here drag it out hold this make sure it stays flattened together if you have to i guess well, you don't want to tape it i guess that's a bad idea never mind just try to hold it together keep it together man keep it together okay loop it up like this see how i have it I'm just fold in your hand push that up through now, what i like to do is hold it with my pinky that way I can hold this loop because you want this loop to stay open. You can either use your pinky, you could. I'm not going to show it because I've done forgot how to do it this way. You put a pin in there through that knot and you keep doing it because you're going to have several knots through there. And what you got to do, by the time you get all these knots done, you got to slip this back through there. So it'll make sense when I get done here or when I get going. I guess now nah, I don't even want to try that because I don't think I can do it. So I'm gonna show it with my pinky. It's cool if if you're just learning to use a marker that way you got your hands free. So you can kind of snug this up as you go along, but you don't want it real snug because you're gonna put that back through later. Let's see, make sure I'm doing this right. It's all. Coming on down here, okay. <clears throat> All right, 
So, get my pinky in there. So now I'm gonna fold that over. This over here, underneath, and I'm gonna crease it again. Not really crease it, but I'm just folding it over it, but not straight over, I'm folding it over at an angle. Cause I gotta come back through here. Anybody seen Jaws? Remember the first Jaws? Shark going to the hole, going to the cave. Come back out of the cave. Back out of the hole again. I don't know what that all meant, but if you've seen a movie, you know you guys know what I'm talking about. Okay, so you stick your pinky back in there. And snug it all up. Flip it over. Bring it around. Bring it under. Grease it, fold it, push it through, put it with your pinky, and usually you get about three knots, and then that's about it. Unless, unless your scale is longer, then you'll have more. So this will be the last one. So this is the point where I take my pinky out. Now this is harder to do with the cotton because the cotton won't stay stiff like this. These are silk. So it's a little easier. So if you're trying cotton, I definitely would use a marker and have a marker through there to keep your holes until you're ready to do this part, which I'm about to show you. And you want to take it and fold it and stick it through that first knot. I can't really show you because I got to see how it's going through there. I'm pulling this up. Pull that through, kind of fold it again so it goes through easy. So I'm sticking it through that knot again, or hole, and a knot. I call it a knot. Each one is just kind of a knot. It's what you just, I don't know, it's what I call it, so you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right. Fold it down again. Push it through that one, the last one. And you got the whole thing through there. Now it's all loose. Now, I mean, you could keep it like this too. It's, like I said, it's kind of the old pictures. It's how they kept it. Now I like snugging it up. So if you want to do that, you got to kind of start over where you, at the beginning and just pull on everything until it's nice and tight. So I'm holding this right here where the Kurikata is, the sword cord holder, and grabbing this from the back, which it's kind of not on to there, on top there like it should be. Grab that from the back and pulling that, you're pulling this right here. So then that'll come around front, keep snugging it up and pull this up here, go back here and pull it from there. You see that? See how I pulled it from up here and went into there. You want to pull that from the back and now you're up in front. Pull this. Nice and tight. So now you've snugged up the first knot there. Okay. Now you got this. So your second one. Pull it from the back. See that? That's going to come around the front. Alright. Grab it from the back of this one. Pull it up. Kind of came out a little bit. There we go. All right, pull that. And you got this bow go loop up here. Just snug it here. Pull it down. And your second one's getting snug. Again, pull it from the back. From around the front. There it is. I'm pulling it from the back here. And we pull that like from the front again. Snug on it nice and tight. Now, let's go down to this. You want to pull this bottom one out. That's all this right here. 
kind of, you might want to hold on to the top to keep the bottom one. There, see it like that. And pull on that bottom. Oops. And pull that all snug and pull this kind of where you want it to look. Or well, in my case, it doesn't get hang, hung up on the on my sword rack because my sword rack is sitting like right there. So I usually put a little small knot right there. And you got this. You can fold it over and let it hang down. And uh, there you go. Now that one's nice and snug. Like I said, you just pull this out and it's wrapped around here a couple times. Pull it a little snug and it'll pretty much undo itself. Um, and that's how I do it. And thanks for watching. All right. Later.